My For hair. example, when you go into the refrigerator <laughs> and you don't close the door. Welcome everyone to Daughter Mama Dialogue. My name is Kyra. And I'm Mama Kat. And uh, this is our podcast where we um, just share our conversations about various things. And basically, we just want to encourage conversations between mothers and daughters and daughters and mothers and all of that. So um, today's topic is a topic that my mom was interested in for reasons that are very real to us. Mm -hmm. What was the topic today? So we keep forgetting. So the topic is you forgot again. Because I feel like we keep saying that to each other. Um, the title is You Forgot Again. But forgot yeah, it's again. basically about forgetfulness. Again. And the, <laughs> the reason why... Well, so first, we're both forgetful. We'll just th throw that out there. I'm, mm -hmm. I can be pretty forgetful too. Yeah, you're definitely mine. You're my daughter. That being said... <laughs> that being said... <laughs> My mom forgets stuff all the time, even in mid-conversation, what was originally talked about. Give me a list. So, for example, even in one of the episodes, we were talking about, you said, you gave me two options. If I feel a certain type of way when I wear this, or do I do this when I, like, when I look in my closet, how do I dress, or what do I think? It was just two options. And I and I just answered. I just said B, the second option. You said what was the second option? Wasn't wasn't it like three or four options? And I'm like, no, you gave two options. Okay. So that Noted. was that's the most obvious one. That's one one. How? What that's do you mean? one. Anything else? Okay. So it or it would be, I would remind you to reach out to someone. And it'll be like a week or two. <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, you don't write things down. But I keep it in, now. That that particular situation is one where I I know I knew that I needed to do it, but other things kept coming up. So I'm gonna cross that one out for myself. Anything else? <laughs> so with that being said, I think with things that only take a minute, especially when communicating with people what i do Wait sometimes minute, hold on, hold on. yes before you go in depth mm -hmm. is there anything else on the list i don't need to don't do forget i list? need to have my list you have, i need to present are we listing my things list. out to each other i was just giving i thought not you... that we're like roasting each other but let's just we're, we're being open here it's a dialogue so let's just okay so yes. i mean my Share. sister can can always be uh well, she's not here, but she's always a backup. Like, <laughs> Where are you just <laughs> yeah, you, you, you quite forgetful and like just, you know, if we, if I tell you something, mm -hmm. you forget that I've told you something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's always like little stuff. Yeah. Like you forget to reach out to someone, or um. I'm ready. Go ahead. I said, <laughs> what in the world is this competition? No, I'm just saying, what else? It's usually something like that. You forget to communicate with people. Or like, you would, or it's actually it's more so like partially like last minute. You do things very last minute. Yes, and so, I do. Which is probably tied to the forgetfulness in some way. Probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, yeah, those are the main things. I don't. I'm not. I wasn't gonna go into. I didn't have a long list prepared. Well, I'm. I have. To, I'm not in denial of any of that. Let me put that out there. And I think this is what makes me a better mother, don't you? And you. What do you mean? <laughs> what I'm saying is, yes, I am forgetful. Um, no, I do not write things down, and and I I do notice a difference because actually there was one phase of my life where. I wrote everything down and I was very good about being on time about everything. I think I was, at least on my job. Um, and I just don't do it anymore. I don't even balance my checkbook anymore. <laughs> Who Which, does? Should I be saying that? What do you mean, should you be saying that? I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't do that. I know I, I don't. Should. Well, I balance I, it sometimes. I look at my statements. I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that being said about the writing things down, I don't, I, I, I tried to do the whole planner thing for myself. It doesn't really work because I don't look at my planners. Like I don't, I won't crack it back open. So really, reality, I just got a stack of, <laughs> I would just have a stack of planners. But the most effective thing for me that I've noticed mm -hmm. is sometimes I add things to my phone to like reminders mm -hmm. and that helps like the most important things. But usually I keep things in my mind too. The difference between me and you though, <laughs> And the difference between us, mm -hmm. though, I tend to do things when it comes up. I'm like, oh, I should do it. A lot of times I do. Some stuff I don't. Mm -hmm. But, like, tasks, I'll do it right away. Okay. For me, I I also had a planner that actually I, I found uh, last week. I love that planner. Mm -hmm. That's when I, that was an era of being hyper-organized. And I found that planner. I thought, oh, I could use this. And then I set it down and forgot about it. Exactly. Because <laughs> one of the reasons is that now in our age of technology, everybody's using Google Calendar. And a lot of times when I have to remember something, it's something someone else has to remember. Yeah. Like my meeting. So I try to send out uh, reminders on Google Calendar. But for me, the downside of, being, of Google Calendar is just that... Um, it's, if it's right in front of me, it's more easily remembered. And Google Calendar is like, you got to open this window. Yeah. You got to open that window. Oh, you got to, you know. So, I mean, in that respect, the technology is kind of frustrating me. As well as being inconvenient. How is that possible? I mean, there. I think it just depends on what you, how you organize different things. Like certain things like doctor's appointments or um, like like stuff that requires a specific deadline. Mm -hmm. I like to have, yeah. like reminders are cool, but I, I like to have a calendar. And I did this at my old apartment where I just had a calendar and write things down on there for those dates. But for tasks, um, certain tasks that I want to get done, a reminder helps me out better for mm -hmm. that. So maybe it's just, it, de it depends. Like right now I, I don't use a calendar, but also... I uh I use my phone more often now. But mm -hmm. also with that being said, yes. I don't like relying on my phone too much because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm on my phone often and I'm a little prideful about that. Like I like I, I do I really want to be this reliant on my phone. So and I understand where you're coming from, but the flip side of that is and believe it or not, I still do write things down. The bad thing about that is I have a bunch of pieces of paper all over my desk. And I'm like constantly reorganizing them or adding more notes to them, which after I do that, then I can't really read them. So that's not helpful. Um, so I see you, you got a comment, <laughs> but no, um, I was just I'm not done something. yet. So yeah, sometimes that's just a downside too. And then of course, you know what me is the color of the little post-it. I don't like blue. I do not like a blue post-it. Give me a bright Why? color. Why? A blue post-it? I don't know. Don't, it's one a of blue, my favorite, favorite colors, colors is, is yellow. Wait, I thought one of your favorite colors is blue. It's okay, but not for a post-it. <laughs> <laughs> or this color. This beautiful orange. Okay. I thought you know, I... for stuff I want to remember, I want it to, you know, I want to be energized. <laughs> Uh, I like I like colors myself, but yeah. I, you know, it's funny because people say write things down, write things down, and like I have said it, but I think people who actually write things down, they actually have a system. Yeah, you write it down. <laughs> no, no, but down. like, like certain have things a certain type of place. They train themselves to keep things a certain in a certain um, location. Mm -hmm. And when they want to think of this type of task, say, look up tasks that they have to do in the day, then they go to this particular place. Or if they want to look up tasks for their business or job, they go to this particular place. So they train themselves to have that. I don't have that, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I wonder if that's how that works. Because clearly, neither one of us is on that wavelength, I feel like. You know, you sound very British when you say tasks. Uh, I don't know where, like, where it comes from. It come from. I think I just, 
I don't know who talks. Anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, so we but but we've talked about forgetfulness relating to things you should put in, in the calendar or make post-it notes for. Let's talk about other things. Not for good. example, when you go into the refrigerator <laughs> and you don't close the door. Yeah, I did close the with <laughs> No, the difference is it's not that I don't close the door. I don't close it forcefully enough. So Correct. I usually, no, I just I, you know what I do? I just like because the door usually just closes on its own, but it's not forceful enough for it to like seal. And you know that. <laughs> so funny. That's not forgetfulness. That's just really just laziness. No, I just don't think about it. Like I'm like oh, because I hear I even hear the it touched the other door, the one door touched the other door. But I don't, it doesn't click. That hasn't sealed and I don't mm -hmm. check. I'm like, okay, I close it and walk away. And the same thing with these Wait a minute, <laughs> cabinets. I'm not done. Oh yeah, same thing with the cabinets. I close them, but then they just bounce back open. No, they never bounce open. <laughs> they open. I close them. <laughs> they never, have never, ever <laughs> bounced open. I just like you have some ghosts or something. Not a you ghost. Know, I just, imagination. That's why you're a good writer. No, I realize I keep a lot. I keep doors open. I have a thing. Yes, you do. Because even in my bedroom, like, my closet door is mostly usually open most of the time. But you shut the bedroom door. And actually, no, that is not your MO to, cl to open bedroom doors. Ever since you were probably four, you used to slam doors. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I uh, think to I just, frighten everybody. No, not to frighten. I just like the sound. That's why I did. Why did you get sick? But anyway, you want me to shut you slam talk doors? About something else? No, I don't. <laughs> That's just... then, who's gonna pay to correct it? But anyway, how about washing your clothes that you put into the laundry room? Okay, forget that. Yeah, because you, you definitely leave about, your clothes sitting in the washing machine. Okay, I do that, but <laughs> there are there's a clothes hamper with three little sections, What's and your clothes never go into the three little sections. I don't use but that hamper. That's fine. That's fine. What's so weird? What, what are that's we fine. Saying? What you, are we talking about? Like, if you take your clothes to the laundry room, eventually you're going to wash them. I would say within... How many days? So the problem with this, th with talking about this, is that usually it also means that your stuff is sitting in there. I will mm -hmm. admit I have had left stuff in the washing machine or the or the dryer. Yeah. Well, usually the dryer. I usually don't like leaving stuff in the washing mm -hmm. machine. Mm -hmm. But nine times of the ten in the washing machine, there are clothes that are there, and I'm like, how long have they, have these been there? <laughs> oh, I put them in there. Okay. To build up to a load, that's when I put them in. Yeah, yeah she used it done like it's how a, many times? Okay, Hold all on. the time. Hold on, let's back up. Okay, let's get to the dryer. What's that? Let's get to the dryer. <laughs> you, so my me. mama told me that when you use the dryer, you clean the filter. You clean the what filter. Is, are we talking about forgetfulness, or are you just trying to talk about me? <laughs> forgetfulness. <laughs> stuff you know. You're a grown woman. That has nothing to do with. Me. Okay, I'm. I'm just saying. I feel Thank like you you're just using this bit. moment as a way to to let out all, all your grievances. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, one more. The bathroom. What about no, the bathroom? No, 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 not the bathroom. The kitchen. You gonna pick one? <laughs> okay, so no. Let's go with the kitchen. Well, let's go back to the kitchen. You okay? I'm wondering where is, where this is going. I'm done. <laughs> She's so, like you. You haven't wiped the counters down every day, and then I or and then I wipe the counters. She's like, "Oh, you didn't do like this is something." But yes, is that how I sound? Really? No, okay. that's what it's going to sound like. Today. Oh, that is a horrible sound. No, no, that's I. No. I think I'm. Let's talk more about forgetfulness. So the thing is about taking. I think what it is because I know. When, okay, I forgetful about household stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm really, I'm pretty good at tasks, like, as far as, like, outside of that. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe, you know what it is? Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking about this. I'm very, okay, so I'm a bit bossy, right? I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, so, you know, these important tasks have happened, are happening, 
when are you gonna do A, B, and C? And so I do that to my mom all the time. That's just and she's harassment. She's like, because <laughs> oh my, like, um, my mom is really last minute. So I be like, like, you know, like the important stuff. Like, I don't know, um, taxes. <laughs> Or I knew you were gonna say it. Hey. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Whoever you is, um, <laughs> whoever you is, whoever you are. Look, I have good English skills. I just you, don't like to use. Who are you talking about? People who are listening and watching. Um, now that my daughter has brought up taxes, no, I don't like to do taxes. Who likes to do taxes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I leave it to the last minute because you know sometimes it's exciting. Is that you exciting? Have, you, really? have, you have the adrenaline that you didn't have before because, like I said, nobody likes to do certain things, inclu which include taxes, and the adrenaline is just there, and you just plow through it. I do taxes as a means to end to get my refund check. That's what I do, <laughs> and I'm like, and then yeah. I don't want to be audited ever in my life. Okay. So, um. Yeah, who likes taxes? And I just forgot what I wanted to talk about. Thanks for that. What? <sighs> Let's go to the fact that sometimes when people get important documents, what do you they need to put them in places where they can find them, like when you purchase a car or something. Actually, I put it in the right, in the correct place. I just couldn't find it in the folder. Actually, that's the actual truth. How does that happen? So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, like, I we were looking for a document for an important reason for my car. Um, like, an invoice to get my car fixed. Now, I have this folder. Mind you, this is not the best organiz <laughs> organized sense of organization. It's not the best system. But I have this folder that I've kept, I keep medical records, like me medical stuff and auto stuff. I don't know why I did it that way, but I just kept it going. <laughs> Together? Yes. One side is one, the other side is the other. Oh, okay. So, um, and this particular invoice was folded up in an envelope, an envelope. So usually I don't have it like that, but I had stuck it in there, um, and then it was just, I couldn't find it. So I guess it was pushed down because I had looked through that folder, I thought, all the way through, but apparently not. And I found it. So it was actually in the correct place. It was just, I'm just not attentive to details. Have you noticed, though? What? Have you noticed that happens a lot? You you have something in one place. You haven't forgotten about it, but you, you have it in one place, and then you look for it, and it's like, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> are are you trying to talk about specifically me, it. or are you just what talking you about people in general? Uh, just you, just you. I love you, but you're an I don't see it person because I'm and not. I already know. See, that. this is why I don't like having a lot of stuff. For one thing, clutter and disorganization. Actually, it was it was sort of organized, but like disorganization and clutter prevents me. It, it makes it harder for me to find things. Cause I'm not a detailed oriented person. Like I just get, I don't know if it's overwhelmed. My eyes just glaze over stuff. I don't know. And then also it makes it hard for me just to stay like neat. Well, just organized in one way as far as like keeping papers and stuff together, but also organized in a way of like having things in the correct place. So I really don't like having a lot of things, including a lot of papers which is opposite. My mom likes keeping papers from like years. And it's just, I'm like, can I not do this? I have, I've got, yeah, some stuff to shred. But, I but, um, see, every time you talk for a while, then I'm like, doggone it, I forgot my point. See, but anyway, um, yeah, you were talking about keeping papers. Actually, I'm impressed that you separated out the papers on each side of the <laughs> Why are you impressed? I'm impressed. I'm, I thought they were just like, no, they're just they're in not. there together. Mm hmm. But um, I was going to say that I, I'm used to the fact that, because this has been going on a couple of decades, you know, when you can't, you can't find it, you don't see something. I've only and it's been like, alive. Okay, I've only been alive. I know, <laughs> it's, decades. I know it's in that corner where I left it. And then I go and it's like right next to the corner. And you're like, I didn't see it. Actually, 
So if we want to talk about that, we even even on forgetfulness, to be honest, at this point, my mom would tell me to look for something in a certain place. Almost 100% of the time is not in that place. That's true. That's it's like, true. like That'd be true. Not, in this, not in that space. That'd be true. So I don't know if that's related to forgetfulness, but yeah. Maybe I did. <laughs> Maybe it's my... Maybe it's my fault. You know oh, what? No. Though? You know what though? I think some people like detail. So okay, so this made me think of like hoarding ADHD. I'll, I'll get to the point of this. Forgetfulness, I think, could be something that if you're in a certain environment that makes it easy to forget or misplace things. Um, like if a child is gro grows up in that particular space, and I don't have physical evidence i've just seen articles but i you know listen to blogs but you know i don't have any specific places to direct you guys but like i think it's something to say it's more it's more likely for that person to pass on um that that trait to the child you know what i mean like um like the fact that my mom my mom's not a hoarder but she does keep stuff but she's not a hoarder <laughs> Um, although we do have like relatives who have that type of tendency and so the tendency to like salvage and whatever um we tend to hold on to it but then also my mom tends to forget things okay. and i'm forgetful too about and, hoarding okay get to the quick my whole point was <laughs> is just that i think part of that is just something that's the whole nurture thing like if you are nurtured in a certain type of environment certain traits that your parents have will pass on to you you are high on analysis i just have to say that I, I, analysis. I just, just think that that is a definite trait of yours analyzing i think but we analyze I, it every, i be analyzing people it's in a very clinical <laughs> seems like it's in a clinic very clinical <laughs> manner but uh before i forget something else i just wanted to um um talk about <laughs> talk about the fact that what we just talked a little about a little bit ago that mm -hmm. i might be the person who set you up for being forgetful because i said you to look for something since you were little it's in the it's in the kitchen you go look in the kitchen well it's not in the kitchen that's all nurture uh, thing. Maybe it's in the living room it's not in the living room that might <laughs> like, be the whole nurture what, thing wait a minute, where is exactly it? That could be. We just, you know. So no, I'm, I don't. So I'm apologizing. Right I now. don't think you've always been. I, I don't. I mean, I might not have just been paying attention, but I don't remember you being that forgetful when we were I younger. Think, but I remember. I definitely know that you and your sister have complained about me sending you to get something, mm -hmm. find something for me, or get it from a certain a specific place, and it's never there. You both have said that it's never there. I don't know. If that's I think more never is harsh. I feel like. Well, I feel like that could be more of a recent thing. I don't remember this as much when we were younger. Oh, maybe it's just last. I don't know. I think maybe it's stress or something. I don't, it has been stress. stressful. And we all know about the pandemic. But I mean, not I that kind recent. Of also it's, been, think... <laughs> it's been going on longer than that. <laughs> okay, so you know. I'm just saying. But I do kind of also think that the the thing about you, your own space, like your own space. <laughs> If you're looking for something in your own space that's yours and not mine, and you look, I don't know what I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Like you forget where you forget. I don't know. Is it forgetting or you just maybe it's a maybe you just organizational problems? <laughs> you know that so that actually makes me when I brought up that 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 um point about. ADHD or ADD. I don't think it's that though. But well, it because the whole hoarding thing. I heard someone said, well, they were diagnosed with this, mm -hmm. and they grew up in a household with hoarders. We're not hoarders, but I mm -hmm. think like keeping a lot of stuff, like, and I think also we're very visual people. Oh. What? <laughs> it's getting long. Cut to the, no, can you just like kind of focus on yourself? Do you feel like you're I a feel, hoarder? No, actually, okay, I don't. Because like, I throw, I throw stuff out. I throw, analysis anyway, I throw that. stuff out all the time, honestly. Or well, not all the time, but I do throw stuff out. 
And but and and part of the reason why is because if I have too much stuff, I'll forget that I have certain things. So I like to have things like easily viewable. Mm -hmm. Um, most of the time, most things. So I don't like keeping a whole lot of stuff, and then it can be overwhelming. And I yeah. think it does contribute to me forgetting certain things. So like that's I think that's why I try to like also. Um, when I have too much on my plate, I try to get things done, like, as soon as possible. I don't like waiting around because then it's just overwhelming and just bogs me down. And then I'll forget and then I'll procrastinate and it's just a whole issue. Let's get to some solutions. So, for myself, since you mentioned taxes, I just want to share that I decided yesterday, yeah, yesterday, to start going through my receipts and creating an envelope for each deduction that I want to keep a record of. For next year's taxes? For next year. Did you finish your taxes? Don't worry about <laughs> it. Uh, no, see, people. I just wondered. I said for next year. Oh. And you know what? If I want to go a step further, which I've done this before for other people. I've organized other people. If I really want to go a step further or overwhelm myself, I'll create a spreadsheet. Spreadsheets are cool. I never, I never use those, but I think I want to use them more often to for certain things, for certain systems. But I never use Excel or anything. The thing I hate about it is there are way too many cloud accounts out there. You got Google, you got Microsoft, you got Apple, and iCloud now. Uh, yeah. So you got Isn't Apple. That Apple? Oh, yeah. You Apple did that. You did Apple. Okay, yeah. I'm not forgetting everything. Okay, so <laughs> it's like whatever you're on at the time, you just automatically want to save it. Yay. And then if you don't print it out, if you don't print it out, where is it? It's in one of these clouds. You know, it's not even. Doggone it. I forgot my doggone password. Why you sound so old? <laughs> Right no, now. it's just like, it's it's too much. Some of it is just too much. And I think a lot of us are victims of too much. Too much convenience. It's just too much, you know. Yeah, and if you're on Instagram and all that, all those social medias, that, I yeah. feel like that also contributes. But that's another topic for another so day. I don't want you to be a, a generation that's overwhelmed by too much technology. I don't, actually, sometimes I have way want to, like, throw sure. my phone or delete my socials and stuff. But, like, I'm too, like, wrapped up in it. Yeah. But I can slowly unwrap myself, detangle myself. So, we'll see. That's a little creepy. Um, <laughs> Overdramatic. Yeah, so yeah, so we're very so we're working on forgetfulness. I think, you know, once we like certain tasks that we can just get done right away, if we like yeah. at least shed those, that helps a lot. Yeah. Um and I like the fact that you bought like a um a whiteboard. Oh yeah. I, so how do you I feel like that's been helpful? That for a while? Yes, uh, yeah, I do think it's been helpful because I, like I said, I like to see things in front of me. I mean, if I could just, you know, I'll probably create a little wall with an area for my post-its, put them in order. But I love my little whiteboard. Actually, it's something that I tagged in my mind. I filed in my mind. I'm going to get a whiteboard. And I just happened to find a better one than the one I originally thought I was going to get, which was like this huge blank thing. Sorry, huge blank thing. But this one actually, it, it has a calendar on it and a little space to make other little notes. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, I really like that. Yeah, I, I've had a whiteboard before. Um, right now, I'm, I haven't needed one. But I think um, I use my phone as more of a reminder and it's been very helpful. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, you know, we're coming to the end of the episode, you guys. Um, what are some helpful tips that hope you kind of like learn to remember things more how like mm -hmm. you know stay organized um we're constantly trying to be better so you know be better with us mm -hmm. and um if you like this video like comment and subscribe mm -hmm. uh, we definitely want to hear from you like this video share with someone else if you if they want to laugh 
or um, just had the same struggles. So yeah, we'll see you guys next video. Bye. <laughs>